Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm your resident redneck, Harold, and uh, I'm going to show you a video here. No, no rednecks were harmed in the making of this video. But it seems like the other day I reported to you guys about uh, this bill about stopping uh, ma gun making machines that could uh, make ghost guns. Well, I wasn't as informed as I thought I was. I, I have found the ghost gun making machine and it's uh, <laughs> I never imagined anybody would make something go a lot of trouble making something that complicated for such a simple thing but they have actually built a CNC machine that drills the holes in the side of the AR-15 receiver and I guess hollows out the uh, mag well and that's all it does and it's uh, <laughs> about $2,500 and I was thinking to myself, well, you could buy a pretty nice mill that did all kind of things from, say, Grizzly or, or Precision Matthews or Jet or, you know, one of these places, all these imported mills for $2,400 or $2,500. You could buy a pretty nice, you know, manual mill. And you could do all kind of stuff, including machining out an AR-15 lower, you know. But... Apparently, there's folks that willing to pay this. You know, twenty-five hundred. You can buy maybe two AR-15s for twenty-five hundred dollars if you don't buy the the most expensive one. I'm sure you can get a couple of them for twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. You know that. I didn't mean each twelve, thirteen hundred each. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can find them in that price range. And uh, how many are you going to want to make? You know. <laughs> uh, you can't, you know, if you make them, you can't sell them or nothing, so it's got to be your own personal stuff, you know, $2,500 just to make the lower to, for a homemade gun. Didn't make any sense to me, but uh, apparently this legislator that wants to make them against the law for anybody to own except FFLs and gunsmiths and uh, gun factories, uh, apparently he saw one, and I've I've, I've located there's at least three videos on YouTube showing this machine and I'm going to put links down there to these three videos. You can look at the, whichever one you like or all three of them or, or none of them. It just all, all depends on what you want to do. Okay? And I've been watching a lot of videos here lately and I've noticed that amongst the machine shop crowd there's several people that use the term visually see something. Now, I wonder, that made me wonder if that wasn't a statement from the redundant Department of Redundancy because how else are you going to see something if you don't see it visually? I don't know. I, rednecks are, you know, we're limited in the reasoning power anyway, so maybe there's some special thing I don't know. Got to be. All right, so I'm going to show you a picture of the uh, ghost machine and tell you that well I'm working on some stuff and uh, I'll have another video up eventually that's probably got more interesting stuff in it but now let's just go ahead and take us a look at uh, at the ghost machine okay this is the website of uh, ghost gunner ghostgunner.net and uh, this shows you a picture of the machine to to finish 80% receivers and frames. No prior CNC experience required. And like I said, I understand this is about $2,500, although I didn't dig deep enough into their uh, website to find out how much it costs. They, they ask you for a $500 deposit, so you know it's going to cost more than that. And I personally would never buy anything like that if I wanted to make a, a receiver. I've got two milling machines already, either one of which would do it quite well, you know, so uh, I just never realized that uh, anybody would pay that kind of money for a, a one-purpose one machine like that, but there it is, all right, so you live and you learn. Well, there you go, a new one on me. Now, of course, that doesn't stop the fact that the bill's language is still vague enough that it could be anything. They need to put the brand name and and it'd be a little more specific, you know, uh, I think. But I don't think they'll make a law against it anyway. Like I said, 
the world's full of people that have got a drill press and so on and <laughs> they can make the lower you know without that machine I think the machine would be sort of a losing proposition for your average guy you know that uh, you can make it for your own use you yeah, but how many are you going to want to make for your own use you know I don't know anyway there's the ghost gun machine the CNC machine that that I had heard about in the legislation. No, uh, no bubba joke for a little short video like this, but there's there's videos coming later. Y'all take care. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.